So if we would go to our uh, pipeline, which I've already built for us, we can actually start configuring it. And the configuration is pretty straightforward. Again, you have access to your general uh, you know, options, your co uh, source code management, build triggers, etc. But the one area that you want to focus on is your build step. Uh, so we already have a built-in plugin uh, that we can access either through Catalan Studio test, uh, Catalan Studios tests, which is just utilizing a local ver uh, your version of Catalan Studios, or as we're going to be doing a test op plan, which is what we see in front of us right now. All we need to do now is then incorporate the URL that is giving us access to our instance of uh, test ops. In this case, it's testop.catalan.io. Given uh, some credentials, which we can create and uh, configure within our test ops instance, pretty straightforward, and select what project and test plan we want to do. Uh, projects was the on test application, which is the one we've been on all day. And we're going to choose our healthcare regression test, which is the one that I created for us. Now, once we save this, what's going to happen is we can then run the, uh, the actual pipeline and do the build test. As we've seen here previously, uh, my last uh, my last usage of it was la uh, was yesterday, and it came as a, a successful pass, and we'll see that reading reflected as well. Rather than sit and wait for that application to finish running, however, we can simply go into our instance, and we can actually start seeing it here. And from here, we can actually start noticing a couple of things. We have our test suite already laid out for us, the platforms that it's been running, the total number of uh, test cases that were successful, and we're able to then verify if there was any problems, if there was such a problem that happened. Again, this is what the experience is going to be like. You're going to have your environment already set up, and then what you're going to be doing from a day-to-day -day perspective maybe is going into uh, seeing the development uh, developers commit some code or some other kind of build trigger happens and you're going to come into here see all of the test results that are being executed and then start uh, analyzing the actual results from there and you can actually start having a more holistic point of view and start configuring it and optimizing your guys's test scheduling uh, as well this is all being done within the test execution tab uh, i should note and if you're ever wanting to run, uh, see what else has been running, you can go through the test run list uh, listed here. And that's everything I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, in the about 18 minute time frame, we were able to do quite a bit. Uh, first off, we were able to identify the fact that there was a problem in our uh, testing efforts. Uh, not only that with the uh, number of errors, but also see, you know, what uh, ratio of successes and failures we have with our test cases already. We were able to diagnose what one of those problems were that were causing so many errors to take place. And we were able to create our own test case uh, and cultivate that into a test suite, which we then saved that project into a Git repository, where we then associated to our test ops instance so that we can then trigger a Jenkins build pipeline uh, to execute this, uh, this test suite that we created. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about Catalan. Hope you guys have a great day.